Hey fam, welcome to Turkey. <laughs> Check this out. Pretty nice, right? Now that's what life is all about. Having the time and money and freedom to do stuff like this on a regular basis. As you know, I do this all the time. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about why it's pointless to start a business without a purpose. So a lot of people start businesses um, because they want to make more money, right? That's one of the main um, motivations for people to start businesses. They want to make money and they want to be successful and they want to be famous and they want to do something. But we also know that like 80 to 90% of startup companies actually fail within the first couple of years. And I personally think that it is because they are not aligned with their purpose. Now, I would have to do like a proper, you know, interview with all these startups in order to see whether that is the case. I'm sure there's also other things, preparation, stress levels, not being able to deal with what's coming for them. But in the end, it all boils down or all comes down to purpose again, because if you are connected to your purpose, so you have a lot of self-awareness and you know exactly what you are meant to be doing in this life, you will also know exactly what business to start and how to serve other people with your services and offering. In the first couple of years, when things don't go as planned or when you are facing setbacks because everyone fails those, that will not phase you to the point that you will actually give up because you know that you are on the right path. So before we intend to, or before we attempt to start a business, I personally think that we should actually do a lot of inner work in order to discover who we really are, what we stand for, and what our purpose is in this life, because I truly do believe that every human being on this planet has a purpose. Now, that purpose doesn't necessarily have to be starting a business. It can also be being a mom or uh, taking care of nature or, I don't know, taking care of your community or anything like that. So don't get me wrong, not everyone is meant to be an entrepreneur. Some people are very happy not being entrepreneurs and that's also totally amazing. But I just want to really emphasize that if you plan to start a business and if you plan to do something for yourself, you really, 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 really need to prepare yourself spiritually <laughs> for what's coming. Also emotionally, also financially, but you need to prepare yourself spiritually before anything else. I also believe that when you are truly connected to that purpose and you are executing that business based on your values and what you believe to be true and what you believe to be um, valuable in your life and the lives of others, when set setbacks happen or when a pandemic breaks out or when something horrible happens in the world your business is actually going to survive and thrive survive and thrive because you are not a random business that's not doing anything for this world you are a business that serves people that serves a, a higher goal a higher purpose it doesn't mean that you have to be a yoga teacher or, or coach or anything like that it can also mean that you um you know, make clothing that inspires people or anything you do can inspire people. Anything you do. We don't all have to be like supernatural um, hippie types that are taking care of the environment. That's not what I mean with purpose. Other purposes are also okay. Your business survives and thrives if you actually live your life based on that purpose. So make sure to do your inner spiritual work. I do teach a lot about this in my online course. I actually have a whole process for developing or discovering your, your purpose and what you're meant to do. Very important guys, so I just want to really emphasize, don't just start randomly, don't start out of nowhere, and also don't think that 80 page business plans are going to bring you the um, results that you expect, because it's not always about that. I've never written a business plan in my whole life. and. I, <laughs> I'm not to brag, but I am pretty successful with my businesses and that is not based on business plans or calculations or plannings. No, it's, ba it's based on inner work and intuition and feeling and knowing. Okay. So a little bit of a different approach from most business coaches, but that's what I wanted to give to you today. And I'm going to enjoy my yoga lesson. Bye. Namaste.